right. Now it's time for Sick of the Week, the segment where I choose the absolute best slash worst public health headline of the week. Sick of the Week. <laughs> this week's Sick of the Week, did a Swedish study really find that getting tattoos increases your risk of lymphoma? All right, if you are unfamiliar, lymphomas are blood cancers that affect the immune system, and tattoos are a cool way to turn disposable income into unsolicited comments from strangers. Are the two connected? Now, there was a study in Sweden recently that examined a potential link between tattoos and lymphoma in people aged 20 to 60 and found that having tattoos was potentially associated with a 21% increase in the risk of lymphoma. While it's definitely worthwhile to look at if there are any serious adverse outcomes from tattoos, the study did not make a strong case for it. First of all, most of the results that showed a higher risk for people with tattoos didn't actually reach what's known as statistical significance. Uh, statistical significance is calculated to tell us if the outcomes that we are measuring are due to chance or not. And with most of the analysis in the study, they were not able to confidently say the differences between people who did and did not have twos weren't simply a coincidence. The study itself found no association between the number or size of tattoos and the risk of lymphoma. And if there was something about getting a tattoo that put you at risk, you would think that the more tattoos you have, the greater that risk would be. And lastly, Tattoos have become increasingly popular over the last several decades across the world and specifically in America. Given that the study found an increased risk of lymphoma in the two years after a first tattoo, you'd think that there would also be a detectable increase in lymphoma cases across the country as the popularity of tattoos increases, but there just hasn't been. So we need a lot more research to know if your tattoos make you physically ill. I can tell just by looking at you, your tattoos do make you look super sick. That's why they're this week's Sick of the Week. Most of the analysis in this study, they were not able to confidently say that the differences between people who did and did not have tattoos weren't simply due to a coincidence. 